Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be talking about 5 things to get you hyped for Skyrim Special Edition, or more importantly, these are my 5 things that have been getting me hyped since the actual announcement that Skyrim Special Edition would be making its way onto Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and again, remastered for the PC. Now, first of all, guys, before we get into this video, I would like to remind you that Skyrim Special Edition is out on the 28th of October, which is this month. It comes with all of the DLC, and also, for you guys who have a Best Buy near you in the UK, or if you have a Best Buy in the US near you, they're actually doing a Dragonborn bundle, which includes a Dovacan mask, which is pretty awesome, so I will leave the link for that in the description to their website. But let's get in to my five different things that are making me very excited for the Skyrim remaster. Okay, starting it off with number one, we have the expansive race selection. Now, what I mean by that is I've been playing Fallout 4 for around about nine months now. And one of the things that made me really bored about Fallout 4 was not being able to choose different races to go, you know? I mean, I would just love if there was a Fallout game in which started after the war, in which you could choose to be a super mutant or a human or a synth or a ghoul, you know, that would be pretty cool. And I guess I've kind of got that idea from Skyrim, because when you start Skyrim, you know, you get to choose a huge amount of different races to go. You know, we have the Nords, the Imperials, the Red Guard, the Breton, the Argonian, the Khajiit, or Khajiit, a Dark Elf, High Elf, Wood Elf, and of course, the Orc. Now, I'm sorry if I did pronounce any of them wrong, I am a noob, so feel free to bash me in the comments, but let's talk about that here. You know, there is so much replay possibility with all of those races, you know? If you want to be a magic build, you know, you can be a Dark Elf. Now, I don't really know if they kind of work together or anything like that, I cannot remember as I haven't played Skyrim for so long, which is just another reason to get me hyped. But seriously, you know, my first build will most probably be a an elf. I will most probably be a wood elf. Then as I get bored of the game and being that kind of build, I will then move on to go maybe to uh, uh, Argonian, I guess. And then I can go from there and work my story around this character. And I guess that's the beauty of Skyrim, you know, that is a lot of replay value just in one, that one selection that you get at the start of the game. That opens up so much possibility for a long playthrough of this game. And that is one reason why I'm excited for the Skyrim Special Edition. So let's move on to number two. And that is animals. I know it sounds so simple, you know, animals. Mostly every game, open world game even, that you play these days has a huge list of animals. But there is definitely something special about the animals in Skyrim. Now, of course, we all know we have dragons. We have the blood dragons, the frost dragons, the elder dragons, the ancient dragons, and just even different kind of dragons in the game. You know, we even have a skeletal dragon, which is absolutely insane. But it's not just that. It's those old type of animals, the ones that we see here on planet Earth right now, that we kind of love to either walk alongside with or maybe just hunt down. And things like the snow bear or the wolf or the ice wolf or the saber cats or the skeevers, you know, that gets me excited for these type of games because certainly for me, I love using bows. Now, when I go into this huge wilderness that we have in Skyrim, you know, I like to kind of pretend that I'm a hunter and I am hunting for meat or something like that or for my mixed, next big game kill, I guess. And that is, again, just kind of my preference of my build in Skyrim, you know, but certainly getting my hands on a bow and killing animals with that bow will give me a sense of, damn, that is so fucking cool. I would love to do this in real life. I'd love to just go out there with a bow and start hunting. Of course, I'm not really going to do that, but you know, this is where a game can fulfill our fantasies. You know, some of you guys like to uh, slap ass and shit, and that's why you probably play Leisure Shoot Larry as a kid, or some of you guys like to beat up innocent prostitutes. That's why you like to play Fallout. No, G GTA. That's it. GTA. That's why some of you guys like to play GTA. I don't know why there'd be prostitutes in Fallout. Is there a prostitute? Was Kate a prostitute? I don't know. But anyway, let's move on, um, and let's kind of kind of talk about this, okay? So firstly, you know, again, I have to come back to the Fallout thing, because, you know, Fallout's the game that I've been playing, and I can relate to you guys with what I'm about to say next. And the thing is with Fallout, and especially Fallout 4, the new game, is that the list of creatures in that game was impressive but they weren't expansive enough 
for my liking. Now, personally, when they released Nuka World, they introduced a lot of new creatures and a lot of old ones, such as the Gator Claw, you know? And that was very exciting because we got to hunt down and kill new enemies. And again, that is one thing that I love doing in games, especially Skyrim, because there is just so many, you know? I gave a little list of them already, um, but again, there's just so many creatures to kill in this game, and that is definitely one thing I'm very excited for for this game. So let's move on to my third reason of why I'm very excited for Skyrim Remastered. And that is the landscape. Now, like I said, I've been playing Fallout for quite some time. And you know, Fallout is very impressive for being a desolate wasteland, I guess. You know, most things are dead, but the game still manages to make things like that look beautiful, you know? And when you come to a nice grassy place, you think, wow. That is beautiful, and you really try to admire it. But with Skyrim, you know, working through the trees or the woodlands or the snowy Alps, you know, it's very beautiful anyway. It doesn't have to take you away from that to make you realize, damn, this is a beautiful looking place. There is just beautiful places all around Skyrim. And personally, again, going back to my character build, you know, I love to use bows. Most of the time, I'm just gonna stick to the woods and hunt, hunt, hunt. And that is probably what I'll be doing on my live stream when I get the game. But seriously, guys, just all of the views in Skyrim look amazing anyway. Even the DLC pack, I don't remember which one it is, but you go underground to a city and they have the waterfalls and everything. It looks fucking beautiful. Honestly, I cannot wait to return to a game that will make me just, like, my jaw drop and just say, damn, these devs know what the fuck is up. They know what make me pleased. Like, yeah, so, I don't know, guys. I don't know, agree with me, disagree with me, feel free, but this is definitely one of the reasons I am very hyped to come back to Skyrim after so long. You know, seeing these beautiful, vast, rich areas in which they have either very snowy areas in which, like, fucking have hurricane winds, I guess, or, you know, these very peaceful, quiet kinds of woodland areas in which you can hear, like, a deer in the fucking background, you know, uh, feeding its young or something like that. You know, it's, it's very awesome to come back to a game like this. So let's move on to reason number four. And number four is the combat system. Now, many of you guys, I don't know if you will agree or disagree with me this, uh, but some people really don't appreciate Skyrim's combat system. You know, personally, I think it's a very awesome combat system that's been integrated here. You know, we have the dual wields, we have the magic, we have the bows, we have the one-handed, two-handed, um, different things like that, you know. It's very extensive uh, compared to most games these days. And certainly, you know, the magic, I cannot wait to get back and start using that. Uh, for many of you who know, I just started a Bioshock playthrough. And, you know, having the ability to do uh, the ability such as the fire and the ice and the electricity, that is definitely going me excited for playing this again because when I was playing uh, Bioshock Remastered I was like holy shit you know Skyrim has this kind of uh, combat style I guess you know the electricity and stuff I was like oh damn I didn't realize I missed it so much until I played this game so you know definitely the combat system in which it introduces you know the magic the bows the dual wielding stuff like that that is definitely something to look out for for this game especially for those of you who have not played it before you know it's very different from Fallout and I guarantee you, you will most likely like it. Um, but anyway, let's move on to our last final reason. Now, first of all, before I say this reason, I am very sorry in advance to those of you who are on the certain console, but this reason is modifications. Now, I understand that PlayStation do not have modifications yet, and I am very sorry to all of you guys who are on PlayStation, but certainly one thing I am excited about is that I get to play mods on my Xbox One. And like I said, I am very sorry to you, those of you on the PlayStation, but that's just my reasoning, you know? That is definitely one reason that I am very happy for this game uh, to be on the console edition remastered. And, you know, I didn't want to leave that out. I actually wanted to include that. And uh, I do know the precautions of including this. I know many of you guys are going to be angry at me, but I'm sorry I didn't want to change a reason when, you know, I'm dead set on this reason, I guess. Uh, sorry for babbling on there. But yeah, there is a lot of mods for Skyrim that I very very much cannot wait to show off. You know, I will be doing a PC and console kind of, um, I guess, mod series, and I will try my best to try and get it full and completed and try and extend it on for as many episodes as I can. Of course, many of you know I did my Fallout 4 mod series that only lasted up till about eight or nine weeks, I guess, 
for each of the series and the reason I quit that air or stopped it was because I was having troubles with actually getting the recorded footage. Now of course with Skyrim I hopefully will not have those kind of problems and I will continue them throughout the series. Uh, but yeah guys, to be honest, they are my top 5 reasons that I am very excited for the Skyrim remaster. Please tell me what your ex reasons are in the comment section. I would actually like to know if I kind of forgot any features or any kinds of exciting things, you know? And especially if you think you can get me more hyped for this game, you know, comment it in the comment section as I do read them quite a lot. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching my 5 reasons to be hyped for Skyrim Remastered, and I hope you have an awesome week, and yeah, until next time, I've been Stallord, I'll see ya!